HP laptop um, uh, undetected HDD or maybe troubled HDD you're about to open uh, you need to check if the SSD is working or not unit is HP model 7265 NGW with an i5 processor so let's hope that it's still working first that you need to do is to not to open or not to power on the laptop because it might damage it really really bad so you have uh, three screws right here and one screw is hiding just uh, underneath this rubber uh, rubber covers or what they call it you need to just hope that the SSD is the only thing that is damaged and not the board itself by the way the unit has a an existing what you call this it has an existing SATA and M2 I just hope that I'm doing it correctly we need to pick this part Okay, so this is the SSD that I'm talking about. Uh, this part, this, 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 you can see this one. I uh, just hope that it's not, it's not damaged. So we are about to remove that part right now. I'm going to test it on my external enclosure. If it works, then maybe, just maybe, the board is damaged. If the board is damaged, then it's uh, it's not good. It's going to be a hell of shit. <laughs> I need to. Ah, I need a different pin for this one. Move it up and let's remove. Let's hope that if it's damaged, let's hope that let's just hope that everything's fine. Okay, I'm gonna get my enclosure first. So this is the enclosure that I bought from Shopee. Um, I'm going to test the SSD and make sure your hands are not static. Mm. Ah my god, I hope this works. Okay. I'm going to insert it in here and then Let's try to have it detected. Like where am I? Where is my? <laughs> Wait, I think I lost my cable. A USB cable. Anyone see it? Nope. Okay, have a mind. Oh, here it is. If this will work then we have a problem with the board though it still has a backup for 
this SSD and we're gonna use the SSD SATA SATA SSD so it can still read SSD but the problem is that if it doesn't work then the M2 is shorted I think so let's try it we're gonna try hope it will work Okay. So as you can see, the hard disk uh, SSD has been detected. So I think we have a problem with the board now. Mm. So what's it gonna be? I'm gonna first check if the unit is not soaked into water or nothing damaged inside or maybe it's just a most moisture lang. Mm -hmm. mm, let's check the battery is intact. The battery has a water on it. I need to clean it a bit. It didn't come from up, up there, but it is wet. Some parts of the laptop is wet. I'm gonna check if it's the only thing that is wet before it gets shorted and gives more damage to the unit <sighs> piece of shit doing this you better be careful that you don't short the batteries because it might explode so I'm giving myself a hard time I just hope it will not happen nobody wants an accident if it blows up it blows up like a like a dynamite no just kidding okay now uh, battery safe I think doesn't know any weird smell of burnt something in their hands nothing is wet on this side and this unit has a DDR4 RAM okay checking the status of this I think I think it's good to go. Going back. Um, as far as I can see, there is there are no other wet sections on this part and this part also. So the question for me is why did the sun stop on shining? No, I mean why it does as the failed to be detected on the boot uh, it could be some other issues not related to the wet damage or the water damage could be a broken uh, or busted port uh, let's just hope that it is not because it's hard to repair such board else we're going to use the SATA to revive the unit so I'm going to put back the battery 
a battery. And put the battery and the battery is going to power on the laptop soon. And this one is made in China. This unit made in China. China number one. Okay. Going to put back the battery and we're gonna power it on without without putting back the back housing. Let's see if it starts. If it won't start, then we are in deep shit. If it starts, then we are not in deep shit. It's a good unit though. You can play Dota 2 in this unit and uh, CSGO. I used to own this laptop, but I have to, se to sell it it's to my friend because they gonna need it for the online business and I need money because it's pandemic shit <laughs> uh, we're gonna put it back we're gonna put back the the mic uh, the SSD and I just hope that it's detected once again because if it's not then we are in deep shit We are in deep shit if this won't work. Actually, not me. My friend is. Holy shit, what is that? Something dropped. Oh, never mind what that is. Maybe it's a rubber thing. Okay, let's do it. Let's power it on. Most of the set, it means uh, invalid, invalid. See, must check some invalid will be reset to the default and be rebooted. Please check your BIOS. Enter to reboot the system. Uh, let's hope that it's okay. Did it get rebooted? I think it is. Hope it boots. Hard disk is not being detected. So there is a problem with your hard disk, bro. So let's quick check. Starting hard disk check. Starting hard disk check. After this hard disk check. Can it hope it is good? If it's not good, then it's not good. <laughs> okay, maybe there is something with the boot. Uh, let's try to exit this and let's try to switch the boot device. I don't know how to get inside. Let's try, um, let's try F1, I think. Or escape. No, it still doesn't detect the hard disk. inside the SEMO setup let's try the boot options uh, let's try the hard disk oh my god it doesn't detect the hard disk
auto installed so I think there is a problem with the hard disk I think alright let's try let's try let's try It's working. It's working. The bullshit is working right now. The piece of shit is working right now. Should we use SATA this time? Oh no. What could be the password of this part of shit? Okay, I think that's good. There is no problem with the board. There is only problem with <laughs> there is only problem with the boat boat menu. It is booted, not a UEFI. It is installed in a legacy mode. You piece of shit. <laughs> Dom's number 